God, I hope this is recording. Facebook just said this, this ain't recording. But I hope that that's not the case. Come on, Facebook, get it together. Come on. What's going on, everybody? What is going on? Make sure I'm live. Hold up. Am I live? All right, I see Adam showed up. Okay, so we are live. There we go. Evening, everybody. Adam said, homesick all week, just chilling. I feel you on that. What's up, Gregory? Hey, Leticia. Kevin, what's going on? Oh, what Damien, what's happening? How y'all doing, man? How you guys doing? Had a great week this week. I'm over in the corner today. Somebody was in my area, so I just came over here in the cut. What's up, RJ? The man flu, huh? <laughs> oh, I'm good, Kevin. I'm great, man. No complaints. No complaints. Good to see you guys always. What's up, Jelani? Living a dream. Can't complain. <laughs> no doubt. Oh, I don't think I shared my video from earlier with um with the TA gear. I don't think I put that out there yet. Hold on. Let me throw that on my timeline too real quick. Damn, I meant to put that out there first, but it's all right. Yeah, I got a, a couple more little scullies made up. Just samples, really. I'm I'm um testing out the people that do the embroidery. Just for quality, you know, stuff like that. Of course, now somebody, now nobody's over there. But it's all right. I'll stay here. I'm cool. I'm cool, even though I do want to go over there and lean back. Now I'll stay here. Um. So what's going on with you guys? What's happening, everybody? So we're gonna talk a little bit about the market, how the market was this week, how you guys did, what kind of trading went on. <clears throat> what's happening, Joe? What's going on? <laughs> Coincidentally, beige colors, huh? <laughs> yeah, I like the bright colors too. I guess that's just the, that's the that's the kid in me. I like the bright colors. I got an orange one. I think I got a um like a lime green one. <laughs> Adam said, "Get out of here with the beige talk." <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, they were talking about that on, um, I, I was on Instagram Live yesterday. They were talking about that. Asking me who's gonna win the Super Bowl. I didn't even know who was in. Like, I didn't even know what teams were left. Not in, I'm not into football at all. And they gotta forgive me. I did make a prediction though. I said, um, if the Patriots are in the running, whoever's playing them right now, they better stop them. Because if they don't stop them, the Patriots mess around, go all the way. Again. I do know that much. <laughs> What's happening, Mo? You know I got OCD, so I gotta I gotta adjust my hat. Adjust my scully till it's straight. Alright, that's better. What's up, Daniel? Yep, so um Oh that's cool. That is so cool. Alright. Brighten this up a little bit. Skull cap is fly. <laughs> Everybody like these skulls for some reason. And I wear mine different. These are usually flipped. Like this part usually flips up, but I don't flip mine up. I just leave it down. And then I got I get the um embroidery on that part and just wear it just like this. With the cone head on the top. <laughs> Strive to be different. Everything is well, Daniel. Thank you, man. Everything's well. Yeah, I had to come on early today because we're going to dinner a little later. So, um,. came on earlier but I know some of y'all are on the west coast and they don't even really get a, a chance to um to come on alive sometimes because they still be at work like right now it's five o'clock here it's about two o'clock in the afternoon like on the west coast so sometimes some folks can't make it but you know you can always catch the replay always catch the replay What's happening, James? Yeah, I had a chance to go over there. I didn't. Now somebody else got it on Smash. That's all right, though. So, um, <clears throat> market this week. Um, we did have some trading going on. I think that was last week when there were no trades, if I'm not mistaken. I think that was last week. That was last week, right? You know, y'all gotta remind me, because I be forgetting, I, I, I lose complete track of time. Like, complete. I'm just chilling, James. Just chilling. Got a little frappuccino today. Switch it up. Got a little one. What was I about to do? I was about to do something. Oh, let me share this um, video. Yeah, but the market um, looked a lot better relatively speaking than it did last week um i'm only saying that because we you know people are people associate good with taking trades and making money but the fact that we actually did not have any trades whatever that was last week or whenever not having trades for us is actually a good thing because it means that what we do works it means that what we do is very effective um, when you're doing something that is consistently winning, 
it's not supposed to be something that happens all the time. It's supposed to be something that happens less often, not more often. So it's just like if you want the best opportunity that is available to get the best of the best, there's gonna be fewer of those opportunities that are available, you see? This is just, this is just the nature of everything. Like anytime you want the best of something, it's, it's more rare. It's not as readily available as whatever everything else is. You know what I mean? Like a rare painting. A rare painting costs more money. It has more value. So that's kind of how I look at what we do. I look at what we do as like a diamond. It's very valuable. And it's rare. So it's not supposed to always happen. And that's why I get excited about you know, like when we don't take trades and things like that, and then you actually compare that to how the market may have been behaving at the time. So they kind of, they, they connect. If the market is, is behaving a certain way, we're not supposed to get trades. That's the point. Because the market is not allowing us to have trades based on the fact that we're looking for something that is rare. We're looking for the diamond. The diamond. You know what I mean? Not the Flintstone. <laughs> a lot of Flintstone out there. Not a lot of diamonds. So that's how I look at that, you know? Damien said, Jay Carly, you late. It's almost finished. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting right into the Nuggets. Right, Adam? <laughs> you like the orange, huh, Jay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Switch it up. What's happening, Dorian? Thomas, what's up? Artistic Bean. Yes, yes, yes. Thomas actually got to make a live. Wow. <laughs> But yeah, so um, that's that's kind of how I view things overall with the market, you know. When you're looking at things through that perspective, it's like you're seeing things through a lens that everybody is not. So that's why you don't have the same results as everyone else. Your results are gonna be stellar compared to everybody else's results because you're waiting for something that happens less, less often, less frequently. And on top of that, you're actually willing to wait for it. And that's what makes it that much more powerful. That's where the skill comes in. The ability for you to wait, your patience. That is the skill within itself. This is a good Starbucks, but they got some bright lights in here. Like they got all these lights right here. It's just like beaming on you. There you go, finally shared that video. Jeez. So how do you guys do this week in the market? I see um, everyone talking about it in the chat. See a lot of one and O's, two and O's. I saw um, five and O. I think that was Jay Black. Jay Black. JK, my bad. Um, I see Ryan said he was one and O. Mark O was is um, two and zero. David was two and zero. Good stuff. Good stuff. And that that's what I like to see too. Like anytime, anytime your numbers have a, a zero on the right side, you're doing it right. The fact that you're not losing any money, you're not losing any trades. That's more valuable than your ability to make money in the market. It's way more valuable because you gotta be skilled to avoid losing. Like that's a skill that is 
heavily sought after by people. If you asked anybody like right now who trades, what would they rather have? They'll tell you in a heartbeat. Well, I'd rather just really stop losing as much as I do. That's what erases whatever progress that you seem you know, to be making or that you think that you're making. You think that you're making progress because you win in some trades. But then if you're giving all your money back through losing, it's like it's in vain. It's really just in vain, so. When we talk about the skill set and talk about what we do, the fact that we know how to avoid losing and we know what losing looks like with the instruments that we trade, it really just exacerbates the skill that we actually have. Like it makes it that much more valuable. And it's really amazing. What's up, Benito? Man, that little, did y'all hear that? That was a sneeze, that little girl sneezed. Sound like she was yelling at me. <laughs> James said he was 2-0. Oh. Cool. Yeah, that's what I want to hear. Kevin was 3-0, oh. nice. Nice, what's up, Alan? Good stuff. Mo said he missed the trades today because he was at work. And that's all right. That's all right. And you already know what I'm going to say. I'm always going to say the market ain't going nowhere. Because <laughs> it's very true. It is very true. You know, whatever your situation is at work that goes on is not going to be forever. So I know like now sometimes people feel like their job gets in the way of them being able to trade and to train and things like that. But your situation is never gonna just remain the same all the time. There's always gonna you know, be a time when you'll have an opportunity to train more, be on the charts more, practice more. Ultimately, you know, as you begin to develop your skill, you'll begin to just trade more and do what we do. You know what I mean? So there's nothing that you have to try to force to happen. It's gonna happen. It is definitely gonna happen. What's up, David? Jay Carly says she ain't get on she ain't get on the charts until after two when it was garbage. <laughs> when I had got back on the charts, I got off the charts. Like I have I, I didn't even log back in. I haven't been back on. When I did the Instagram live earlier and I got off with you guys, I didn't even get back on the charts after that. <laughs> And, it, and I was cool with that. Like, I didn't have a problem with that at all. Alan said he's doing good. Only got one demo today and it won. Very nice. Um, Alan, did you see the MRMH posted today in the group chat? I'm just curious. But that's excellent. That's excellent. I even like how Alan said it. He said, only made one. Like, you know, there's no negative association with that. Not at all. That's how you should be trading. You shouldn't be taking a bunch of trades. Mo said, I've been getting it in with the training, but that's from day one. Definitely. Definitely. It's like that's that's like that's our staple right there. We're gonna train regardless. Sometimes we may not be able to get in front of the charts, but we're gonna train. That we're gonna do. Some training videos, earbuds, work, bathroom, right? <laughs> Go play number 202 when you're doing the number two. <laughs> What's up, Dion? <laughs> 
Alan said it's a sweet system, really like it, definitely. Um, Daniel said, does Nadex close at the weekend for trading? Yeah, they close on Friday at um, four o'clock. So they closed like an hour and a half ago. Yep, definitely do. Let me scroll back. I thought I saw somebody ask something before. Oh, um, hello, I'm sorry, I'm just singing. Because I'm new to you, just checking you out. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Yep, got a lot of content. A lot of videos. And we do, I do lives like this every week. Did two Instagram lives this week too. So we definitely out here. Team Alliance, a lot of information. That can help people train, change their situation. You want some freedom, learn how to trade. Learn to trade these markets. And you get some freedom in your life. I'm good, Dion, what's happening? Market reopens at six central time on Sunday, six Eastern time. Eastern time, right. <laughs> How many trades did you get this week? I went, um, I was three and oh. Three and oh. Then you said number two, that's my house. <laughs> that's my house too, man, my kids. I'm like, yo, all y'all do is eat and then go straight in the bathroom, like, like you just ate. Did it, did it digest? Jeez, it's like a duck. You ever see ducks? They eat and they crap at the same time. <laughs> that's how my kids are. I think, well, I think everybody's kids is like that though. But anyway, to get to get off that subject. <laughs> but yeah, so um yeah, I was three and know this week. Um and what's very interesting too is that I wasn't really on the charts a lot this week either. Did I, I didn't spend a lot of time on the charts. You know, so that just goes to show you that trade will come. Even if you don't necessarily have the time to be on the charts all the time. Like people, people associate being able to trade with being able to be at the chart at a certain time, like a schedule, you know? Like, oh, when's the best time to trade? It's not about you trying to get the best time to trade. To, to trade. <clears throat> it's about you developing the skill. Train first, like train. Train first, develop skill, then get on the charts when you have time to get on the charts and let the market bring the opportunities to you. Do it that way, like do it in reverse. Don't try to do it where you're trying to schedule your time around a certain time when you think it's the best time to be on the charts. Because first of all, that doesn't even exist. Ultimately, the market decides when the best time to trade is. Because when you're thinking that things are going to happen, it may not happen at that time. The market might decide to do something else that day. Oh, what's the best day to trade? Ain't no best day to trade. And that's why the skill is so important because as you develop the skill, it, don't, it doesn't matter what day, it doesn't matter what time. Whenever you have time to be on the charts, go on the charts, take a look. Market either going to give it up or it ain't. That's it. One of the trades that I got this week, it was three o'clock in the morning. Three o'clock in the morning. I had MR, MH, and everything. And it's like, wow, at three o'clock? Yeah, Marcus did what it was supposed to do at 3 a.m. And, um, and as a matter of fact, that was the one I didn't post because I didn't think anybody was up. So I took that trade and went to bed. Well, at, at least I tried to go to bed. I went and laid down. You know, so. Ignacio, what's up? Yes, any time is a good time with market skill. That's it. That is it. 
<laughs> Dad, you said I'm giving too many jokes. <laughs> What's happening, Michael? What's up, Bert? Yeah, it's good to see you guys. Good to see everyone on here. So you guys enjoy these market recaps that we do every week, huh? It's, it's a good way to kind of unload and just talk about everything that was going on, you know? Like, matter of fact, last week was, um, was last week when the government shutdown started? That was last week, right? Whenever it was. Obviously, that had an effect on the market, right? But it's not how you think. Like, people will think and associate news or events with you can't do anything in the market or you can't make any money there's not going to be any trades or you're going to lose they're making these associations because it's it's stuff that's going on that's in the news like you know like it's popular information it's mainstream information but they're making these associations in their own head because the bottom line is that the market does what it wants to do regardless it doesn't matter what's going on. It could be anything going on. It could be a crash. Stock market could crash when the markets open back up on Monday. And it, it ultimately doesn't mean anything, especially if you have skill. Cause like you're not gonna be in the market when crazy stuff is going on. You see what I'm saying? You're not gonna be engaging in the market regardless because you have skill. That's the difference. That's why if you notice, like people that become wealthy and rich, don't they stay that way? There's a reason why they stay rich. Why do they stay rich? Because they know what they're doing. They have skills. There's a certain amount of <clears throat> skills that they possess and they don't do anything other than what they do. Over and over and over. So stuff goes on, markets crash, things happen in the economy, things happen all around the world. Rich people be staying rich, if not becoming even more wealthy. You know what I mean? So, it's about knowledge. I was said 28 days ago. Oh, for the, um, the government shutdown, right? What's happening, Paul? <laughs> Ryan won a hat. <laughs> E-Maker, what's happening? They call you said, if you like watching the lives, you're not in training with us. Just because this is a glimpse of what it's like with us all the time. Yes. Yes, exactly. Michael Cohen, what's happening? Yeah, Jay Carly just hit it right on the head. Yup, the lives are a glimpse to what we do all week. Yup. I mean, it's a very powerful skill to possess. You know, the fact that um, the format that you can learn is also multiple forms. Like, you got the training videos. We do live training every night. Um, I go on Facebook Live, I go on Instagram Live. We got a 24-hour group chat where we are always engaging and talking about what's going on. So your training is reinforced through the group chat. You got questions, you put them in there, you get answers. It's really just amazing. And then on top of that, it's like we're just a community. So, you know, we know one another. Everybody knows who's who and kind of know what, you, what you're trading development and where you are in the process and all of that type of stuff. That's why I know what to train on because I can go off of what everybody's doing or not doing. Sometimes when I do live training, it sounds like I'm talking directly to you because I am. Without, without calling your name, you know exactly who I'm talking about. <laughs> so, you know, but um, all of that is designed for everything to be reinforced and that's powerful. Like, you understand, man. Like every time I think about what we actually have 
in our hands right now with this i mean it is so exciting like it's so exciting because it's so powerful and especially because of like what's to come like even even when i like come to certain places like i, I come to certain starbucks all the time and they see me all the time they know me they don't know what i'm talking about though but they hear little things about what i'm saying and when i come back they're like oh um, what do you think about the Dow Jones? And I'm like, why are you asking me about the Dow Jones? You see what I'm saying? They must have heard me talking about the market. So they listen. They, they hear me talking and just saying certain things. But that's how it works. So as you do something consistently and you become good at it, other people take notice of that. And they, they kind of want to duplicate what you're doing. And it's really not difficult to duplicate what we do. Especially because the format that you train through is so easy. Training videos, live training, group chat, social media live, you know what I mean? It's just non-stop, bang, 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 bang. It's just constantly ongoing. It's like, it's, a, it's impossible for you to get into training and eventually not become good and successful at what we do. It is impossible. It's not possible. There's no way that you train with us and stay around this knowledge and this information and just don't get it. It's impossible. You're going to get it, it's just a matter of time. That's why I always talk about not rushing the process and taking your time and moving at your own pace. Because when you do that, you allow everything to happen naturally and organically without trying to force it to happen. You don't have to force it to happen, it's gonna happen. Let it happen. Let it happen. Let me go walk ahead real quick. Let's see. Because said we're a culture, no one understands us like us. Fact. Alan, Alan said, really truth is, this is gold. I traded with other groups. These results are mind blowing. They really are. And we keep it simple. We keep it simple. The key to, to, to us and what we do and our success continuing on and just getting bigger, the skill that we have works at every scale. What I mean by that is, you know, think about it in terms of like, if somebody wants to begin investing in something, they're thinking about, well, how much money do I have to come up with to put into that investment, right? We have skill. You don't need a lot of money when you have skill. Take a little bit of money when you have skill and make it big. That's how we do it. Little bit of money, take your skill, build it up. That, there's nothing better than that. I don't care what you try to tell me about it, like you know, any type of investment or anything that somebody can do, the average person can do, there's nothing better than that. The ability for you to take a small amount of money and grow it, and you can take it wherever you want to go? Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Stay said, I get, did I get my brownie? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm saving my appetite, Stacy. We're gonna have some dinner. So no brownie today. <laughs> Adam said, other groups tell you to expect a 70 to 85% win rate. Exactly. And that's very interesting too. And I, I, I do want to comment on that while you got me in that frame of mind because the reason that they're expecting a percentage of losers is because they don't, they're not taking into consideration when they're winning how to only do what they're going to do in order to win. Their strategies and their methods are based on constantly doing the strategy, like constantly executing the strategy and then letting, letting the percentages fall where they fall. So instead of us doing it like that, when I reverse engineered the process, I don't like to lose. So. I would rather not trade at all if I feel that there's a, a, a potential to lose. So 
that one little subtle tweak where instead of you just trade, 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 you don't just trade, 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 trade. You observe the market. You wait for the best opportunities to come. And if the best opportunities are not presented to you, you don't take any opportunities. What if you did that? Team Alliance was born. You see what I'm saying? So, and, and that's why like they, like most people can't understand, oh well, you know, it's impossible to just trade and not and never lose. It's not even about never losing. Nobody's saying that you're never gonna lose. But what's gonna happen is, if you do lose, you're gonna know why you lost. So if you know why you lost, you know what not to do. Now you're acquiring a base of knowledge and data and information that you can use to execute again. So now you know and you understand the reason behind a loss. Now that is more valuable to you than knowing how to win. Because now you can use that information and the next time that you're in the market, you do everything that is possible to avoid those situations where the possibility of losing is present. Just like how last week we didn't have no trades. Like that, like that sounds crazy. It's like, what? I didn't trade at all? Well, how'd you make any money? We made a lot of money because we didn't lose no money. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yes. They said $100, exactly. That's where we start from. He said TA is 100% if you stay patient. All day. All day. Then you talk about don't give him a brownie because he won't leave that house. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thankfully it doesn't do that to me, so I'll be alright. I'll be alright. Jay Carl said we have 100% we do what we're taught 100% of the time. Bam. Bam, there it is. We make money by not losing. She said, say it again for the people in the back. <laughs> but yeah, that, I mean, that's what it is. When we don't lose, we made mad money. Like we made more money than we would have made had we even taken trades. Like we took some trades this week, but more importantly than the trades that we took is the fact that we, we didn't lose any trades. One and O. Oh. Two and O. Oh. Three and O. Oh. Five and O. Oh. The O on the end, that's the key to it. We want to have that O on the end. <sighs> yup, powerful stuff. Somebody messaging me. Who is this? Carly said, I would go as far as to challenge anyone not on Team Alliance to say the same thing. I agree. I agree. Oh, excuse me. Oh, 
for everybody on Team Alliance. There's some gear available in the group chat. <coughs> J. Carl is going to share a link. Um, it's available only to students right now. Only the students. Y'all can get some of the gear um, that we have. Team Alliance gear. These are coming also. Um, I like how these actually came out. The Scullies. And I also can get embroidery done for the caps. But um, those are customized. So I'll figure out how to put them together. And make them available also. But yeah, it was nice. You know, like I'm glad to know that you guys even like the gear and stuff like that. That's cool. That is cool. So you can rep your set. <laughs> rep your team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Jay Carl is gonna post the link in the group chats. And um it's it's beta, so it's kind of like a test. But it's pretty obvious that everybody likes the gear and all that type of stuff, so good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, Jay Carly actually put a lot of effort into it. Trying to find um, a company that does what we kind of wanted, you know, and has the quality. That's always like, I'm, I'm very big on that. I'm very big on quality, so. I like, I like our stuff to look nice and to pop. You know what I mean? <laughs> so Jay is saying, share, share the link right after the live. Make sure that you get it in the group chat right after the live. Yeah, the, the matter of fact, the, um, the hoodie that I had on in the live, not, was that last week? Or the week before? One or the other. When I had the purple hat on, I had the purple scully on. That hoodie that had the Team Alliance on it, that's what um, you can get with the link that she's going to give you in the chat. Yeah, and they got, um, what are they called? The onesies for, for little babies. Got those too. <laughs> it's nice. This is some nice stuff. You guys will see. But yeah, so, um, you know, we just continue doing what we do. Oh yeah, I forgot. You know you gotta remind me about everything, J. Cole. Goodness, I forgot all about that. Trade or die is coming. That's that's all I'ma say. Trade or die is coming. <laughs> um some, well most of you by now probably saw um I have put out a video. Was that earlier this week? I think it was earlier this week. I was doing, um, started with $100, took it to $1,700 in less than 48 hours, something like that, something crazy. Um, and I was using the at the money framework. But I want you, like, I want you to understand something too about that framework. And I'm wondering if everybody gets it. I know most of y'all do, but some people probably still don't. They really think that I'm gonna release a new framework, you know, and do something different and take it all in another direction. And I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that at all. The reason I'm not is because, one, what we do already works. And if something is not broke, you do not fix it. That's number one. Number two, I wanted to show through the process of me building that framework, how hard it is. I want you to look at the market, how crazy the market looks. Because what it means is that it takes you to interpret that craziness and turn it into something that is profitable. And who the hell can or wants to do that? Like, I, I didn't want to do that. I just do it because it comes natural to me to do it because of how I see the market. But who wants to sit and... Did, 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 are you paying attention to the, how the charts look when I take those trades? I'm like, oh, yes, you'll see this, right? You'll see, look at the market. You win a trade, two or three minutes left, right? 
Market is in the money. Price is above your line. Say, let's say you bought. It's above your line. You like, yeah. Yeah, it's in the money. But you got two and a half minutes left. Clock keeps going down. A minute left. You look back at the chart. Price out the money. Price under the line now. You're like, wait. Hold up. I, it just was all the way up here. What the hell? You're looking at the market. Now, how many of you were staying in the trade or you scared to death, you trying to get out the trade, you trying to salvage whatever you can get out of the trade? Oh man, oh, well, let me try to get out, let me get out, let me get out. You trying to get out the trade because you scared. See what I'm saying? When the only way that you can trade at the money and get your one-to-one -one risk reward, you got to stay in the trade the whole time. You got to hold it until it expires. <laughs> Are you doing that? Are you going to sit there and be in that trade when it's doing this? It's going back and forth across your line? One minute you in the money, the next minute you out? No, you're not doing that. So that's, that was my purpose for showing you that. Now, I, I realized it didn't help because I was winning the trades. Like I was actually winning the trades. So it was like, oh, well, Mark did it. So he's going to teach me that. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> so, anyway, I brought you all the way through that whole process, more so to just continue to educate you about how the market is and the way that you can interpret the behavior of the market to fit into the instrument that you're trading at the time. That's more so what it was. It's an education in that. But it is not me trying to build out something new you know, to offer so we could be doing at the money trading. No, that's not what it, that's, that we're not doing that. And we don't have to. What you have right now, you're gonna win. You're gonna win consistently. You can take a small size account, build it up, take it to wherever you wanna take it. And when I do the, um, the, the trade or die thing that I was talking about, that'll be interesting. That'll be very interesting. I'm not talking specifically about what it is yet, but it's gonna be very interesting. And it'll, it'll kind of, for those of you who have more confidence and are, are developing, you know, your confidence to, to be able to actually execute, it's gonna definitely help to push you. It's gonna help to push you. Yeah, they look crazy stressful. Hell yeah. Yep. Yep, exactly. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, so. Powerful stuff going on this year for Team Alliance. For students, just for Team Alliance in general, everything. 2019 is gonna be a very pivotal year for a lot of people. You know, transitioning and moving further and further away from the workforce. You know, if that's what you want, I know everybody doesn't have the same aspiration and desire to do things, but keep, you know, keep trying to tell people, I'm like, listen, if, if you can't stay in your job or you don't necessarily want to have to work, that type of thing, learning this skill is something that will enable you to have freedom at some point. It's only a matter of time. And like I said, it's impossible for you to train and to acquire the skill and not get it and ultimately become successful in the markets. Impossible. There's no way. Only way that you ain't going to get it and do it is if you quit. That's the only way. Yep. Um, Jay Carly said, do we have a time frame from when you're going to gear up for the trade or die? Asking for a friend, of course. 
<laughs> um, let me think in terms of hmm. Cause for the framework videos, I got like I think I got like ten of them left. So that's ten days right there. Um, and then after that, I'm releasing the eight trades that I took for that video that I put out, the hundred to seventeen hundred. I'm actually gonna I recorded each trade, and sh and you can see how I scaled up the size of the account and all of that. So I want to put those out. So that's another eight days. So that's like 18 days, so like 20 days. So what's today, the 18th? So this is gonna be in February sometime. It's gonna be in February, February something. Maybe like mid-February. So I'll say like a month from now. About a month from now. Most said my job is a risk. They will let me go any minute that they want to, that's true. It's very true. And that's one of the most dangerous things that people can do is become comfortable. You know, like they feel secure. They feel like because of their job, they're good. I'm like, if you ain't the boss, what, what, you know, what do you want me to tell you? It, it can happen. You're not the boss, it definitely can happen. And that's the difference, like, you know, when you trade, you trade the markets for a living, and not even for a living. Let's say that you do this and you start doing it part-time. You start learning the skill, acquiring the skill, practicing, you're getting better, you're training, and you're doing it on a part-time basis. Now, if something were to happen with your job, look at what you have. You have a skill. You have an actual skill. So while you're in that transition, whether you're looking for another job or you know, maybe you might resolve to, well, I don't even feel like looking for a job, how about that? I'm just gonna use my skill and trade and get to where I, I wanna be by being patient and, ex and just executing my skill in the market. How many people can say that they have that? It's a lot of value, man. That's a, that's a tremendous amount of value. It's powerful, man. They call you, said no one should ever feel secure at your job. You could be there 30 years and they just decide, well, we don't need you now. What? They'll decide. You ever heard the one where they got rid of your position? We're, we're eliminating your position. What? In other words, we get rid of the job. We're not getting rid of you. We get rid of the job that you have. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> if you're getting rid of the job that I had, and that's the only job I've had this whole time, then you just got rid of me. What are you talking about? <laughs> but that's, that's, that's the politically correct way of them saying it to you. The diplomatic way of them saying it to you, right? It's insanity, man. Insanity. And this happens to people every day, man. Every day. And that's, and, and that's really bad too when you're older. You know, like, I can think back to when my father, my father was a glazier. He used to do glass work, right? That's what he did by trade. And the people that he worked for, he worked for for 38 years, right? The same year that he was about to retire, they laid him off. Now that was back when they would lay you off. So they would make it seem like, well, you know, we gotta cut back, so we just gotta let you go for now, but you know, you can come back later. Ain't no coming back later. You got laid off, you got fired. There's no coming back later. You know what I mean? But that's how they created the perception to make it seem like that was the case. They know damn well that they, you wasn't coming back. It was over. It was over, you know, so. They did it right at that time so that they didn't have to give him his full benefits and his full pension and all of that type of stuff. You know what I mean? Like they jammed him up. And it ultimately jammed us up. Like I was young though. I was a kid when at, at that time. So, but I remember that vividly. It was crazy. Crazy. Jermaine, what's good, man? 
Yeah, man, that was crazy. Yeah, it is sad. It's very sad. You know, because that goes on all the time with people. All the time. Yep. Right, very slimy. Very slimy. You know, and, and he was the type of person, he just was, a, you know, a very loyal and committed person. Always came to work on time, you know, always went above and beyond what he had to do for them and, you know, that type of thing. They wanted him to stay, do extra jobs. Other people would call out, he would come in, like, you know what I mean? Like that type of thing. He was totally reliable and committed. And they just did him dirty. Like it was like he was like, sorry, buddy. But it is what it is. So, you know, that 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 also played like a large part with me personally for not wanting to really be a part of the workforce. Like I, I saw early when I was young that that wasn't something that was for me. Like I knew I was like, nah, I'm not doing I, I can't do that. So I just always had in my mind, anytime I would be on a job, I would use the money that I'm making to invest in something and do something else, always. It didn't matter what it was. This, this was even before like I got into the stock market and stuff. Before I even knew I wanted to invest in stocks, I just had that in my head. I'm like, I'm gonna use my money for my job and I'm gonna do something else. Save it up for something, I don't know what. But I'm gonna save it up for something. You know, so that that definitely helped to craft me, you know what I mean? Like to mold me into not wanting to be a part of the rat race and the workforce and the whole, you know, we work somewhere 40 years and retire. I'm like, that shit ain't never gonna happen. It ain't gonna, it's, 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 it's just not. It's like them days are over. All them days is over. You work on the same job 50 years and retire from there, it's a wrap. Zero contract hours, that's what they're giving you. Yep, exactly. What's happening, Mustafa? Yeah, man, it's crazy. It's crazy, so. You know, that's why I'm able, like, personally, I can relate to everybody when they talk about the job and their situation and stuff like that, because I just, I've been through, I've been through that. And I've also been through leaving it. Like I've been through being on a job, having a good job, having a good paying job, all of that. And I've also been a part of leaving a good paying job because I'm deciding on my own that I'm gonna do this because I know that this right here is not gonna be forever and they can take this away from me at any time. Cause like I knew that, I was like, well, you know, I'm making 85,000 a year, but I know that that can be gone. As a matter of fact, the same, the same job, before I even got to that pay, the first year I was working there, they laid me off. I was laid off for seven months. We came back, like our union fought to get us our job back. We ended up coming back to, to work. And I'm like, so, if every four or five years they do this, I gotta worry about this again four years from now? And I'm like, nah. I'm like, how can you, why? 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 This was my logic, so I was like, nah, I gotta get up out of here. So that's what I did, I planned it out. And you know, once I hit the top pay, I maybe worked another year after that. And then after, that time, that's when I was like, all right. When they offer a severance package, I'm out. And, that, and sure enough, they offered a severance package and I was gone. And you know, this was during the time when I had already been learning about the market and figuring everything out that I was gonna do. You know, and I had everything in place already. So yeah, it just was crazy, man. It was crazy. Stacy said, question, what is a good job? <laughs> That's a good question. 
That is a good question. Well, the job I had, I, I used to work for um, Verizon. I worked for Verizon as a um, repair technician. That was it, like, in New York, that's like a, that's a great job because you get paid more than cops, firefighters. Like you get paid basically more than everybody on that job. But you're not doing that type of work. Like we used to, there was just mad ways to cut corners, you know, and not like overwork yourself. So that was a good job, relatively speaking. But I'm like, again, like, I'm not. It's, it's a job. It's still a job. I don't care if you're making 100000 a year from your job. It's a job. So you have to know in the back of your mind that you cannot depend on, you know, who is employing you. You can't depend on them to just keep you on board 20 years, 30 years. Who are you? To them, you're a number. To them, you're just somebody that they'll replace if you can't do the job. Like if you really think that your job, that your employer like, like loves you, get hurt. Like mess around and get hurt or get sick or something. See how long you want to last after that. See if they'll keep you. And it's crazy, like, because it's like, well then, you know, that's kind of heartless. Well, it is what it is. It is what it is. They're a business, they're a corporation, so they need the work done that they're doing, so if you can't do the work, what are they supposed to do? They gotta replace you, put somebody else in your spot, or whatever the case may be. So, I mean, this, like, this is just stuff to think about. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to be, like, the negative Nancy when it comes to talking about jobs, because I don't have a job, but the reason I don't have a job is because I worked to get to a position where I don't need a job. You see the difference? That's the difference. It's not that I hate jobs. I knew that I could put myself in position to not need a job by developing a skill. And that's what I did with the market. So that's how that worked. And it wasn't, it wasn't easy. That shit was hard as hell. Like it was a struggle the whole time. Cause you gotta realize that I did this on my own also. Like you know, I didn't have guidance. Like everyone, everyone in Team Alliance that's joining Team Alliance, you guys have guidance and direction. You guys are coming into a training program that tra is training you specifically to learn something that you're going to be able to execute to make money right now. Like when you get the skill, you have a skill that's gonna make you money that no one can take from you. And you have support from an entire community of people that's reinforcing the training. That's what you have. That's what you guys are coming into. You see what I'm saying? But when it when I started to look into developing skill in the market, I didn't have that. So if you don't have something, you have to create it. You don't have it. No, no one else is willing, no one, even if somebody does have it, they're not willing to share it with you. They're not telling you nothing. So you, you're gonna have to figure it out on your own. That was me. I figured it out and now the reason that I'm getting better and better at doing it and my karma is so good is because now I'm passing it along to others. That's what I'm doing through Team Alliance. You see what I'm saying? So I'm passing it on to others because that wasn't available to me. So I'm filling that gap, that void. There was, there was a void. It wasn't there. I didn't have it. So I had to create it now I'm making it available to everybody else who wants the freedom that I'm talking about. <laughs> it's crazy. So that's what it is. <laughs> that's what it is. Ryan said, we get that for $35. Yep. Yo, I'm the, the karma is real. Y'all already know it. Y'all already know. I get karma. My karma is 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 lovely, and I get it back so quick, all the time. It just comes, boom, boom, for no reason. Yep. <laughs> I knew this was gonna be a good live. This is a good one, right? Mm-hmm. 
A lot of history on this one. Took y'all back in time a little bit. <clears throat> Most said, and when you teach, you get sharper and sharper. What? I'll be getting nice, man. <laughs> <laughs> For real, I'll be I'll be surprised at myself. I'm like, yo, I'm like, did, like sometimes I'll be outside, I'll be having an out of body experience. I'll be like, did he just say that? Mind, I'm talking about me. I'll be like, did, did Marcus say that? <laughs> and then on top of that, another thing that I'm doing is I'm passing the energy, right? So when I transfer energy to you guys, y'all give it back. Y'all give it right back. So I'm constantly getting it. I'm getting it from every angle. We get it on the training videos. I'm getting it from you. You getting it from me. We just, it's just a swap. And it's nonstop. It's nonstop, man. <laughs> That's why you can't stop it. Like you can stop it if you wanted to at this point. You can't stop it. really helps you learn to help other students. Helps me too, and I barely help y'all. <laughs> yeah, but that's true, man. That is true. It's like, if you really wanna learn something very well, like in and out, intricately, teach somebody else the part of it that you know. Even if it's a little bit. If you know, know, know that little bit, it's a seed. And when you're able to transfer that to somebody else, it's like planting seed in fertile soil and it grows. And then you get the feedback and it creates a loop. That's why the training has evolved over time. Look at, look at where the training is now. The training is insane right now. Like literally, the training is crazy. People come in and in three days, they're like, yo, I took a trade today and I won. Okay, and then, then when I ask you about the trade, you know exactly what you're saying. Like, you know what you're talking about. Come on, man. That's insanity. Insanity. But of course, you still gotta work on your patience. Just because you want to trade don't mean that you, you know, you're not Michael Jordan now because you want to trade. <laughs> You're not LeBron because you want to trade. <laughs> I know you feel like it, but no. You still got You got to put in that work. <laughs> Quote for them all. Yeah, I can't wait to watch this play back. It, I, we, we talked about a lot today. That, this, this was good. This was really good. This was really good. Good stuff. Yeah, so once again, everybody, so students in the group chat, y'all check out what um, Jay Carly's gonna share. And then take a look at the link. Get yourself some Team Alliance gear, you know? Get the vibe. Get the vibe. Oh, this Matthew, what's happening, man? Yes, Matthew said people are coming in serious about it, not just testing the waters. Exactly, exactly. And, and it's very interesting that he said that because that is something that people used to do. Like people would come in and you know, they would look around and they might stick around for a month and then they'll leave because they already have a, a preconceived notion about what they want. And they had, you know, well, I gotta take three, four trades a day because, you know, I wanna make 300 a day. If you got a preconceived notion in your head about something, you ain't gonna find what you're looking for nowhere. You, know, you see what I'm saying? But the one thing about it is that when you get a taste of what it is that we're doing, when you leave and you go elsewhere and you start looking around, and you don't find nothing that you're looking for, you know where you're coming back to, right? You know that, right? 
you coming back to the truth, man. You gotta come back. Cause there's no way you can be touched by this and it doesn't really rub off on you to some degree. It's, it's gonna rub off on you. You're gonna come back. What it is, you can't, it's like trying to escape yourself. You can't get away from yourself. Ryan said I gotta have to, I'm gonna have to get on the recap more often. Yeah, and it's like this every week, man. TA for life, yes. <laughs> yeah, Jay Carly got TA pride for real. She said, when I'm wearing my team aligned hoodie, I'm standing a little bit taller. That's hard. <laughs> That's hard. Yep. All right, so I'm getting ready to go to dinner. But it's, it's always a pleasure coming on, recapping, jonesing, joking. You know, we do a little bit of everything, so it's all good. You guys are just tuning in for the first time. You know, just keep checking out the content. Just keep checking it out. I know that's what y'all be doing. Y'all be just watching until you join. So that, that's what it is. TA ain't going nowhere. Market ain't going nowhere. Trade or die. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Meet me in the chat after the live. Yeah. Yep. So I'll see y'all in the chat. Definitely. And I will see you guys. Uh, what's today? Friday? Yeah, we'll be back on live training on. Um, oh, I don't even know if Sunday is going to be because MLK. The holiday. I don't know how they're doing that. Whenever the market opens back up, if it's in the evening, at night, or whatever, we'll train that night. All right, so I'll see y'all then. All right. New York City, Mark Fuller, Team Alliance, Deuces.